flowers that I think I've found. And of course, now that I'd like to show you one. one. Can you see one? Yeah. VM's eagle eye. Yeah, it was just one that was in there. So we're going to try and see if we can show you. Excuse us playing with the settings on the camera. Uh, as we point it up into this very grey... Oh, there, you're right. Right here, close to us, hey? Yeah, I've got it. There you've got the flower. So they grow on these stalks, a couple of flowers at a time, and you can actually see that this one is busy uncurling now. And I see, a, now that I'm looking, I can see a couple of other stalks. She hasn't quite put on her full show just yet, but she will get there. And just have a look at that beautiful... That is VM's doing a fantastic job there holding this camera as steady as possible at quite an extreme zoom. And now that flower, once pollinated, will then turn into a seed pod called a sausage pod, which can weigh up to 10 pounds. Can you believe it? And that's why this tree is revered so much, as it plays uh, an important role in sort of the Shangan culture out here. And that is this tree. Pretty nice sausage pod tree. Paula, you'd like to know how long it takes for a sausage fruit to grow. Um, Paula, let's hope that this tree pollinates itself pretty quickly. The bees and the beetles that will be pollinating and the birds that will be pollinating these flowers will do so quite quick. And um, by about January, February, the pods will be about this big, about this round and about this big. And I'm hoping that this year, uh, this particular tree uh, manages to produce some, some seeds and that those seeds germinate somewhere along this river and that we start to get some baby sausage pods. This particular tree, I think, has it in the wars. Every time, uh, this is now my th fourth summer that I'll be here and I've never seen her produce fruit. And it's because every time she produces some flowers of some sort, some catastrophe happens. For the first two years it was a drought, no flowers were produced and then last year was a massive storm that knocked all her flowers off and she didn't even have one flower left for the rest of the year. And so this year I'm hoping that she... come and have a look here. Viam. Now I'm going to put my finger on this thing here. You can see if you can see it. Can you see it yet? So at the end of my finger is a spider. It's called a crab spider, wall crab spider. Can you see it yet? Its head. <laughs> How amazing is that, everybody? Let me get a piece of grass so I can show you some features on here. I'm going to try and find her again. Okay. So here's her spinnerets. There, from there to there. This is her abdomen. There. This is her cephalothorax with her eyes. The tip of my grass. There. And then she's got groups of legs. Here's one here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Whoop, there she goes. Isn't that incredible everyone? Flat wall or flat or cr wall crab spider.